This is typical alpine flora, gentian and violets. But will they be able to survive climate change? This is what biologists are trying to find out. They dug up patches of grass growing at 2,000 meters in the Kalanda Massif in Graubunden in order to transplant them 600 meters below. That corresponds to about a three degree change, which is comparable to what we might expect the climate to warm over a hundred year time scale. But of course, we want to also understand what happens to the plant communities when they get less warming, which we might expect over a 20 year time scale. These two square meter turfs are transported by helicopter, then meticulously replanted lower down the mountain. In order to prepare for radical climate change, the scientists want to better understand how it could affect the mountain landscape, home to 30 different species per square meter. The first thing we expect to happen as the climate warms is that we'll have changing interactions amongst the plants that we see around us at 2,000 meters right here. But after a, some period of time, there will be the arrival of insects from lower elevation. There will be the arrival of plant competitors. Species are smaller at altitude, but larger downstream, and there are more insects. When temperatures rise, these species may climb towards the tops of mountains, which could threaten some mountain communities of plants. We know that the climate is warming up, that species are on the move, but we don't know much about the dynamics of it. We don't know how long it will take for species at a lower altitude to invade other higher species communities due to global warming. The researchers will keep a close eye on the resettled species for some years. The experiment is being conducted simultaneously at three sites and follows a first simulation carried out in 2012 in the same region. It's really changed. Lots of things uh, of plants from this, from this site here have colonised it and the, the composition has changed over time. We, we expected that to happen, although it's happened a lot faster than we, than we expected, yes. But they will have to wait until the end of winter to measure the blooming period and the size of the plants at lower altitude for clues as to the fate of these icons of the Alps.